Hello there, everyone. Thank you for returning. We'd like to share some new Abraham content with you today that will change your life. Allow yourself to feel the power of expressing gratitude for what is already around you. Let's watch the video now. The reason that that feels like it feels to you is because your inner being simply loved them and understood them and called them to their highest good. And the fact that you didn't leaves you feeling the absence of harmony or the offness of the calibration. In other words, you calibrated with the physical world. You didn't calibrate with your spiritual world. You didn't calibrate with your source. You can't be angry and be calibrated with your source. Well, the nice thing is the more you meditate and the more you deliberately calibrate, the more you'll catch it in the early subtle stages. So when you're off a little, you can adjust it before law of attraction gets hold of it and momentum gets underway and it gets out of hand. That's why beliefs get out of hand is because you calibrate and then you attract and then you say, see, it is true. And then you join groups and you talk about what happens and you calibrate more until you have this argument around the world about what truths are. And we say, you can make anything true that you focus upon because the law of attraction will bring you the data about what you're offering as a vibration. So do you want to make hate true or do you want to make love true? Do you want to make your balance true or do you want to make your imbalance true? Do you want to make your love true or your hate true, your abundance true or your lack of abundance true? You get to choose what it is. Your inner being already knows what you want and is always true to what you want. Other people in the world, that's not their job. It's not their job to be the calibration that calibrates you to what you want. Now, there are a lot of people that do. Lots of ministers and mothers and teachers and friends really care about you and they do their best to calibrate on your behalf and when you hold one of them as your object of attention it feels really good but it makes you dependent upon things that are unreliable because they are few and far between those who will hold steady to who they know you really are when you're behaving in a way that is not who you really are but your inner being always is there for you always is calibratable always it is possible to calibrate to your inner being well, we're using that word a lot. What do we mean by that? Resonate with it. What else do we mean? Sink. What else do we mean? Feel the emotion of it. Anytime you feel negative emotion, you're not calibrated to your inner being or to what you want. Anytime you feel negative emotion, that's just the way it is. You're calibrated to something else. You're calibrated to your rebelliousness. You're calibrated to what's wrong in the world. You're calibrated to what's wrong in this moment. And most of all, you're calibrated away from who you really are. So you're not replenishing, you're deplenishing. You're not in sync with who you are. You're not in the receiving mode, so good ideas can't flow. You're in the leave your wallet on the counter and drop your credit card between the slot and the floor and trip over your own shoelace and break your own teeth out mode. That's the mode that you're in. You get to choose. It gets better and better and better and better and better or worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And you get to decide where along the way you're going to tune in. You get to decide how far out of balance you're willing to be. Well, a lot of you are willing to get pretty far out of balance because you have found that others feel sorry for you or that others will support you or that others will see you as vulnerable. If you get in a bad enough spot, if you dig a big enough hole and crawl out, they'll make a monument for you. <laughs> There's a lot of rewards from the physical world as you suffer your way into the game that they've been by default playing. Or you can decide I'm an extension of source energy and source is aware of me. And source is rooting for me and calling me back into alignment with not just who they are, with that which I really am and with all things that I desire. And as you care about it so that you meditate every day and you care about it so that you do your segment intending every day, when you get into a situation where you're not feeling so good and you ask yourself as Esther did the question, wait a minute, is this who I am or is this who I am? Is this how I feel? Is this really the emotion that best depicts my feeling of my life? No, not even close. Is this? Yeah, it's that one. And so as you continue to make those determinations, what happens is it becomes such a strong part of your vibrational offering that then as you move through the world, that's the way the world shows itself to you. And there's lots of rebels who will 
they'll fight you on that because you'll say wait a minute this is what I see and they'll say oh yeah but you're not looking in the right places you need to look in these other places to find the things that you want to push against and that's the dilemma that most humans are experiencing is that they really believe that their work is to look out into the world and find its problems and then push those problems into oblivion there's a war against drugs and a war against cancer and a war against terrorism and a war against and a war against and if we can just push hard enough against those they'll be gone and that's just not true the more you push against them the more prolific they are and so when you decide that you're going to tune into who you are and you're tuned in tapped in turned on and you're standing steady in your own shoes and steady in your own mind and someone behaves in a way they don't affect you because it's not about you it's about them but when you see someone in the street flipping you off you don't feel so helpful <laughs> but they need you just the same they're still asking for the love that they haven't been able to quite calibrate to so think about this if there are people in the world and there are a lot of them that have been living and observing life and have become rebellious and are pushing against all things unwanted and they're hurting and they're hurting bad and you decide you're tired of hurting and you show yourself that there is another way and you find relief in meditation and then you do it often enough that you feel the true momentum of love and appreciation and joy in calibrating to who you are and then you see someone out there in the world who is hurting and you love them you love them you may very well give them like beaming a satellite dish a point of attention that they could calibrate to they can't calibrate to their own inner being because they're so far from that but if you love them anyway source doesn't remove the vibration of love just because you're in a bad mood source just keeps loving they know that sooner or later usually later you'll wind around into something and you'll taste it a little bit but when you start doing this on purpose when you start calibrating because you mean it and you've shown yourself what that note is that you're calibrating to and then you're walking around in the world and you're feeling good no matter what else is going on there will be those who will resist you what are you smiling about pretty much everything <laughs> what's wrong with you aren't you watching the news yeah but I'm looking at it through the eyes of optimism I'm looking at it for solutions and I believe in the resources that are available to us that are coming forward and I have enormous optimism for where we're all going and actually you might be giving them a lot more than they want but I believe in our eternalness I believe that we are eternal and I believe that right here and now is all I have control over so if I can't be present now and feel good then I'm in deep doo-doo if I need anything to shape up before I can have a knee-jerk positive response to it then I'm gonna be more unhappy than I am happy all of the days of my life and I am not willing to do that I've shown myself that happiness is a choice happiness is a choice and so is clarity and so is abundance and so is love and so is stability and so is well-being and so are great ideas and so are inventions and so are empires and so are relationships all of it is a choice it is a choice so easy so at your fingertips it is a choice you see but you got to start with am I resentful or am I a lover you just got to make choices all day long all day long Esther put her seat back on the airplane the half inch that it was willing to go <laughs> and she felt it bump the man behind and she looked right around and she said did I get you with that he said it's okay you just surprised me and Esther said I don't need to recline he said no it's okay no I don't need to reply no it's okay they were fighting over who should be the nicest one <laughs> that's the kind of rebellion you want to be hello everyone thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years we appreciate all of the positivity and stories you've shared Please share this video if you like it and let us know what you think.